at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, approximately 12,500 people have taken part in the National Lottery anniversary run, giving them the opportunity to follow in the footsteps of sporting legends like Usain Bolt, Mo Farah and Sir Chris Hoy. Among the stars was five-year-old Rio, who took part in the family run event with his parents Juliet and Trevor Wolfe, who are members of Bushy United Synagogue. The 1.5-mile run gave Rio, who was born with a one-in-a-million bone deficiency called tibial aplasia, the chance to take part in one of his favourite hobbies. JM1 spoke to his parents about how the carbon fibre running blade has transformed his life. When he first uh, started school, he had an NHS prosthetic leg, which was like, like, like a normal leg, uh, but very heavy. Um, but what happens at school is all the students take to him, they, uh, they're fascinated by his leg and now he's got his blade when he goes, uh, goes to school just like a normal child. At the finish line, Juliet told JM1 that her son's dreams have come true. Oh, it was very emotional, it was really emotional <laughs> um, to come back here, <laughs> very emotional. Um, you know, well I think the difference in his life a year ago he was so miserable and he couldn't, he felt like he couldn't run, he couldn't keep up with his friends, he'd given up all sports and then it, what a difference a year makes, you know, now he's got his blade, his two wishes came true, the first wish to have his blade and then the second wish to, to, to run on the Olympic Stadium track and it's just come full circle, it's just absolutely incredible, it's the London 2012 legacy. On the day several athletes and celebrities came along to show their support. I've been lucky enough to take part in the Olympic Park run today, the anniversary run. I was here last year and had such an incredible time, I had to come back. There's nothing better than coming through into the stadium, crossing that finish line where Mo Farrow crossed and Usain Bolt crossed and Jessica Ennis and all those incredible athletes. You know, even a year on now, there's still this really warm afterglow, this, this feeling of pride that the whole nation has. Um, not just London, so you know it was an amazing event, a once in a lifetime opportunity for, for us as athletes to compete in front of a home crowd at an Olympic Games, but you can see the legacy of it, you can see the fact that people are still really up for sport and uh, the more we can do to, to get kids into sport and make it accessible, um, the better. Women's world record holder Paula Radcliffe told JM1 that children like Rio can do whatever they set their minds to. For the first time, it felt like the, the Paralympics was as big as the Olympics um, and people will talk forever about the memories they have of being in the stadium. It's about whatever level, whether you're in the Paralympics or the Olympics or whether you're just running for fun, it's about showing kids that they can do it and what they can do and that you, the only barriers are in your own head really. You can go out and just do, do things if you've got enough support around you. And through events like this, children like Rio will continue to grow in confidence and ability. And with so much drive and determination, it's clear that Rio will continue loving life and enjoying sport. This is Celestina Ololode for JM1 in London.